Hi guys, I'm Shazad and uh, welcome in Laravel. Today's we are going to discuss the Laravel. We are going to start our new series which is the Laravel 9. You know very well Laravel is a PHP based framework. We have a lot of PHP frameworks available in the market. If you talk about the coding editor, the versions of the coding editor 2, 3, 4 and if you talk about the Cake PHP, Aura, Falcon. So these are the PHP based framework and if you are new in PHP, so PHP is a server side language so while working on core php you can create the application so let's suppose six months so by using any kind of framework you can create the same exact websites with the same functionality within one week two week or within one month so in this way we always use the framework to create our application so it depends on your requirements which framework you are going to use so let's suppose if you want to use the coding editor 4 it's up to you you can also use that but for the enterprise level applications we always use the laravel framework which is the mostly widely used the framework in the market so how can you start with the laravel we have a lot of choices to start with the laravel we have a lot of versions so the current version of the laravel is the laravel 9 so before learning the laravel you have to familiar with the tools we have some prerequisite you have to familiar with the php first of all you have to familiar with the object oriented concepts in the php so you have to familiar with the database you have to familiar with the sql queries if you are familiar with them then you can learn the laravel if you are not familiar with them you have to learn the basics of the php and also the front end like html that's it because we always use the html in laravel while creating while working on the form so you can also learn the html within one hours or within 15 or 16 minutes or 30 minutes it's not a big deal if you are a programmer so php required database required and also the html is required before learning the laravel 9 so what about the tools we're gonna use in this series we're gonna use the vs code in this particular laravel 9 series you can also use any kind of tool it's up to you you can use a sublime you can use a php storm or any kind of ide okay you also need the server because php is a server side language so that's why you need a server to execute your php script if you talk about the server you can use the xamp vamp or lamb any kind of server okay why we are using the xamp lamb these are the packages because if you are not going to use the package you can download or you have to download the php first of all in your system and also you have to download the database we mostly use the mysql database so you have to do separately language and also the database but we mostly use a package which gives you a lot of functionalities in a single package like if you talk about the xam you have the php in that particular package you have the database in that particular package so, so you don't need to download install the those things separately okay so last thing you also need the composer so make sure composer is a dependency manager you have to download install and also configure the composer before using the laravel or before installing the laravel because we always download the dependencies by using the composer so let's suppose if you need xyz package so you always use the composer to download that particular package so ide php database and also the composer these are the tools or these are the requirements before learning the laravel 9 we start from the zero like how can you download the tools like uh, how can you download the xam how can you download the composer how can you configure your composer and how can you download the laravel how can you install the laravel how can you configure the laravel what are the folder structure how can you create the model controller views routes how can you use the cedar faker middleware a lot of concepts we are going to use in laravel so don't worry about it we're gonna cover each and every concepts in the laravel okay guys so i hope you are enjoying our videos if you think we are doing good thumbs up feel free to share our courses with your friends especially on social networks and please support us and also support us our content by clicking the subscribe button and pressing the bell icon so you never miss any update and if you are watching our videos on facebook please donate us some stars so we can continue our work so thank you for watching